pass to Lenny Moore, and Lenny Lope inside hand to cross the goal line for the first score of the game. It's a beautiful run, and it gives the Colts the early lead at 7 to nothing. In the first period, the Colts' Lenny Moore starts to his left, sees daylight inside, and then streaks through the Bears' secondary for a touchdown. The Colts call on Lenny Moore, and Lenny is Mr. Touchdown tonight as he scores on the same play as his first touchdown, going to his left and cutting back. Johnny Unitas is back to pass, and that means trouble for the Bears. He hits Lenny Moore on the Colts' 31. Lenny, who was playing the finest game of his brilliant career, shakes off one bear tackler, then another, outraces everybody, including the cameraman, to the end zone to score his third touchdown of the quarter, and the Colts are out in front 27-3. It's time for Unitas and Moore to do their stuff again. Lenny takes John's pass on the 25. Lenny dances away from the tackler, and he prances all the way for the touchdown. It's Moore's fourth of the evening, a new cold scoring record. Quarterback Johnny Unitas connects with Dangerous Moore, and Lenny just misses going in for the score. The Colt touchdown stampede in full swing as he fires a pass to Lenny Moore. Moore makes it a 41-yard play to the Redskin 30. Football. He flips a short one to Lenny Moore, and Lenny shakes off three Redskins on a 21-yard play. The Colts have fallen the turf on the Redskin 37. Johnny Unitas brings the Colts out in front as he passes to Lenny Moore. Lenny slips in, and the Colts lead by a 7-0 score. Moore takes a Unitas toss and canters into Packer territory. Makes a defender and keeps on rolling before he is halted on the 6 after a dazzling 63-yard sortie. Three-game winning streak. Johnny Unitas, on his first offensive effort after two weeks on the injured list, drops back and hurls long. Lenny Moore has outrun everyone to pull it in and give Unitas a warm welcome home as he gallops in for the score. Lenny needs just one more try to pick up his second touchdown as he slips around the right end. The Colts miss the extra point, but lead 13 to nothing. Lenny Moore displays his favorite style of running as he squirms for seven yards on the last play of the third quarter. They get the ball. Unitas and Moore team up, and that's one team the Rams can't handle. Lenny dances down the sideline for a 50-yard gain, almost getting away. The Colts have a long road ahead as Lenny Moore takes Johnny Unitas' toss in the third quarter, and Lenny gets to the 49 <laughs> throws to Lenny Moore in the flat, and Lenny skips inside the five as the third period ends. Later in the fourth period, Lenny Moore sets out to change things in a hurry. He rounds left end and sets sail on a dazzling broken field run. Go to war, Miss Agnes, 73 yards to put the Colts on top for the first time, 28 to 27. Also living in Baltimore, number 24, the former Penn State star, Lenny Moore, and a threat to go the distance any time he gets his hands on the ball. Moore is 6'1", 190 pounds, 25 years old, in his third year in the National Football Blitz by about five yards. Unitas back to throw. Gets good protection. Throws a long one. It is good to Moore. He has it at the giant 40, down to the 30, down to the 25-yard line. Lenny Moore. Called it in. He was tackled by Jim Patton. Lyndon Crow was defending on the play, but Moore made a great catch. A 55-yard pass play from quarterback John Unitas to the speedy halfback Lenny Moore. And the Colts come up with the first big play of the afternoon. Here is Unitas hitting his flanker man, Moore. Moore is tackling down, but on about the uh, four-yard line of New York, I would say, by Lyndon Crow. Ball is on about the four or the three yard line of New York. And we have now uh, seven and a half minutes coming up. Seven and a half minutes to go. We're about halfway through the third period here at Yankee Stadium. Brown comes in to replace the Colts to get to work, and they know it. Unitas tosses to Alan Amici. Amici fumbles at the 30, but Lenny Moore lopes in to recover and carry to the Detroit 22. Watch in slow motion as the Colts try Moore at the running game. Lenny finds an opening in the Lion line and filters through for eight yards. When they stop the Lions again in Detroit, 31 to 24. The Colts give Unitas good protection and he pegs out to Lenny Moore. Lenny tries to fake his way past two Bear defenders, but they nail him on the Chicago 29. Unitas calls for the same 
play. Lenny is loose and takes the ball on the run to tear off another 14-yard game. The play of the third quarter, Unitas has the Colts cantering downfield. Lenny Moore takes his pass and lands head first on the Bears' 36. Unitas opens the final period by passing down and out to Moore, who makes the catch draped over the shoulder of Dick Zucco. Moore manages to be where the Bears are for the third straight time. Touchdown, Colt. Baltimore breaks the tie to lead 14-7. to Six. Lenny Moore takes a handoff from Unitas. As the hard-hitting Colt offensive line opens the way, Lenny streaks through Green Bay to go 26 yards for a score. The Colts start another drive as Unitas stays in the pocket behind perfect blocking. Johnny fires out to the right flat to Lenny Moore. Lenny keeps his balance and almost gets away as he carries to the Packer 42. Colts want more as Unitas fakes a draw, then hits more on the flare pass, and the elusive Colts slides by the Packers behind good downfield blocking to set up another Colts score. The shutout crowd of the season is on hand to cheer the Colts. In the second quarter, Unitas gives off to Moore, Lenny passes downfield to Jerry Richardson, and the Colts are on the way. The Colts flash their best form of the season in the third quarter. Lenny Moore takes a flare pass deep into the prospector claim as he gets to the 21. Colts are hard to stop when they get this close, and the slow motion camera shows why. Lenny Moore executes a breakout pattern to perfection. Unitas gives Lenny just the right lead, and Moore pulls it in for the touchdown, and Baltimore now leads San Francisco 28-7. The 49 or 31 gets set for a spectacular demonstration of Lenny Moore's running ability as he turns in one of the strangest gallops of the year. Lenny is hemmed in and gets turned around. As we stop the action, it looks impossible for Moore to get much further. But let's watch what happens. Lenny's strategic retreat makes it 35 to 14 Colts. Colts move early in the game. Moore catches a look-in pass from Unitas and bites to the Colts 45. Unitas drops back, fakes a short one, and then hits Moore in the right flat, and Lenny's forward progress is stopped on the 49er 23. Passes to Moore. Dave Baker goes for the ball and misses, and that opens the gates for Lenny Moore to make the catch. Not even speedy Eddie Dove can catch Lightning Lenny as he romps home to give the Colts an exciting 34-14 win over the 49ers. This scoring pass by Unitas, his 29th, sets a new record for touchdown passes in a single season. Baltimore opens the fateful fourth quarter as Unitas hits Lenny Moore for a first down in Ram territory. Unitas is looking for Raymond Berry out to the left, but suddenly he spots Moore cutting for the center of the field. Johnny's pass is perfectly placed, and Lenny is already behind Lyndon Crow. Nobody is going to catch Moore now, and he lopes to a 60-yard touchdown. To the giant defense, Unitas throws in the second period. Lenny Moore has his man beaten at the sideline and dodges through the New York secondary for a 31-yard gain. Both pass again. Lenny Moore is the receiver and he makes a fast getaway. Lenny is out in the open, but Dick Lynch pulls him down from behind after a 36-yard gain. Unitas goes back, fakes, and then fires to Lenny Moore. The elusive Moore dances for eight more yards as the Colts threaten again. counter quickly as Lenny Moore delays, then darts up the middle, and the loose-legged Colt gallops through the Rams. He opens the fourth quarter by pegging a touchdown toss in his 41st consecutive game. His target is Lenny Moore. Moore's fourth touchdown gives Baltimore a 31-10 lead. In the second quarter, Unitas continues to pierce the Packers' secondary. Lenny Moore takes this one for a 25-yard gain. It's cold ball, fourth and one at the Packer 39. With five minutes remaining, Unitas decides to go for broke. His gamble pays off as he hits Lenny Moore in the right flat, and Moore gets a first down on the 15. It's in Baltimore's football year against the Bears at Wrigley Field, trailing with 17 seconds left. Unitas is looking for Lenny Moore. Moore makes the catch. Go to war, Miss Agnes. Victory in the final 17 seconds. A victory that really stunned the city of Chicago, and for that matter, it stunned the entire football world. From Wisconsin, Oregon, Illinois, from Tennessee, Indiana, Maryland, from all over these United States they came, George Shaw, and small colleges, 
they came to play professional football for the Baltimore Colts. 1957 against the 49ers, the Colts fight for the Western Conference title. Unitas winds up and finds Lenny Moore. Moore goes all the way, tying the longest completed Colt pass and run play set by George Shaw and Buddy Young in 1955. One of the most exciting players to ever wear a Colt uniform, Lenny Moore from Penn State. The year, 1958. The Colts and the 49ers at Memorial Stadium, and the Colts need a win to clinch their first Western Conference title. Trailing 27-7 at halftime, they made one of the most sensational second-half comebacks in NFL history. Determination, you bet. Sprung by the Colt forward wall, Lenny Moore runs, cuts, zigs, zags, 73 yards, and doesn't stop until he's in the end zone with a touchdown that puts Baltimore ahead. Against the Lions in 1960, the Colts lost a tough one. It looked for a minute as if the Colts had it won when United faded back with less than a minute to play and hit Lenny. Hold it right there, and notice, ladies and gentlemen, his feet never touch the ground. If you think that's something, how about the time in 1959 against the 49ers when old Spats got turned around and backed into a score? Go, Lenny, go. But the six points on the scoreboard still read the same way. Perhaps the greatest example of the elusiveness of Lenny Moore is shown in this run against the Packers in 1961. side for a first down on the Bear 45. Jim Parker and Alex Sandusky open a huge hole for Lenny Moore. The Reading Rocket slips through for the score, giving the Colts their largest halftime lead of the year, 24 to nothing. Behind a key block by Bob Vogel, Lenny gets past the line but is met by all-pro tackle Henry Jordan. It looks as if Henry's got it, but Lenny breaks loose. Defensive back Jesse Whittenden says, I'll get him. But all he gets is a memory. Lenny goes in for the score. A great effort by a great all-pro, Lenny Moore, as the Colts beat the Green Bay Packers 24-21. Third quarter, the Colts are moving again. Here's a familiar page from the Colts storybook. Johnny Unitas drops a perfect bomb to Lenny Moore, who pulls it in for his 15th TD of the year and the 13th straight game in which he has scored a touchdown. The Vikings hold firm. It's now fourth down and eight yards to go, and the crowd is yelling, Go, Johnny, go! And that's just what he does. Unitas flips to Lenny Moore, who goes 11 long yards for the first down, and the Colts are rolling. Behind blocks from Parker, Samansky, and Prees, Lenny Moore goes in from the 18 to score his 16th TD of the year in his 14th straight game. The Colts lead 7-0 as the first quarter ends. And get them, they did. 45-17. In so doing, two NFL records were broken by Raymond Berry and Lenny Moore. Lenny scores his 19th and 20th touchdowns to lead the National Football League in scoring. He also extended his record-breaking scoring streak to 17 consecutive league games. Truly, this great Colt veteran deserved the honor of Comeback Player of the Year. Later, Tom Maddy, Baltimore's halfback-turned-quarterback, gives Green Bay more grief with a screen pass to Lenny Moore. Bob Vogel's block helps score to a 10-yard gain. This varied air assault sets the stage for Lenny Moore's touchdown dive. The cold attack is total offense. 
Tight end John Mackey joins the blockers this time. A perfect pocket is the result. And Lenny Moore scores. The face is the greatest challenge of his coaching career. Shula knows that with Unitas and Quazo throwing, the Colts can succeed. Without them, this passing game must be expected to suffer. A concentration on fundamentals, blocking, tackling, and hard running will be the key to future victory. Lenny Moore is part of the answer. Alex Sandusky is another part. This is the kind of combination the Colts must rely on now. Here, Moore and Sandusky pool their talents to gain 17 yards against the Packers. At his best in the big games, Lenny Moore maneuvers 29 yards for a touchdown. The Colts, heretofore a passing team, have scored on the ground against one of the strongest defensive lines in football. Lenny Moore compliments the aerial circus. Behind good blocks, he scores to give Baltimore the lead. Lenny Moore, still spry and speedy after 12 years in the NFL, danced and dodged his way for 10 yards to the Ram 14. Lenny, high step by cornerback Irv Cross, to register the Colts' first score. This touchdown, coupled with a Lou Michaels field goal, gave Baltimore the lead at the... But Lenny Moore is perfect. It's 23-17. The Colts will remain unbeaten.